Welcome to Mark's Motor Sports and Farming Channel. This will be the monthly update video for, for the month of August. And I'll, I'll give you a rundown where, where things are at with the channel in general here. Uh, I have not been as active as, as I Normally I'm with the channel lately, and, and most recently, as you can tell here, I'm in the process of getting a demolition derby build done here. Uh, and not only that, but this this past weekend I, I ended up getting a an infection in my hand. It was pretty good red bulge there for a while and now it's pretty much gone but I'd, I'll have to keep taking the antibiotics that, that my doctor gave me for it until the pills are gone. So, you know, just make darn sure that's out of there and, and doesn't try to come back come back anytime. Uh, so yeah, that, that kind of set me back a little bit too. Uh, especially, you know, when a few days I was laid up, I could have made a little more progress on the demolition derby bill, uh, project I'm working on. You know, I'd, I'd be farther along with that than, than I am right now. Um, so yeah, I, I haven't really been able to get to as many motorsports events as as I had been able to previously. Um, I was recently at a couple of tractor pulls. At, County Fairs hosted. So, yeah, that, that's about all I've been able to do lately is, is those two tractor pulls, you know, just one video for four days straight and, and then the whole pulls up. Uh, yeah, I was not able to get up to Elk River at all either for either of the either of the racing events that they had. Uh, there's one that's been close to a month ago where they're, they're supposed to be, you know, more high horsepower type vehicles racing around the track. Uh, today is August 7th when I'm recording this, so that, and then that was July 12th and 13th, and then I end up missing the, the third round of the one that, I've, that I recorded the previously as well, because that, that's when one of the tractor pulls was at, or that's, that's what day it was, I should say. Uh, yeah, it's, either I go up there and record that race, or or I'd go where I did to record the tractor pull in Jordan, Minnesota there. Uh, so I record the tractor pull. <laughs> Plus the, the town of Jordan is also closer than Elk River. So. Um, Yeah, I'm standing in some uh, second crop hay here that could probably be cut, but uh, yeah, I'd, I did cut a couple places for the second time, though. I'm in a hurry to get everything done as far as that goes, so so then I'd. So I didn't grab the camera when while I was doing any of that. Um, 
And some of the low grounds this year it seems, you know, all of a sudden it gets wetter after I cut it, which I usually don't necessarily experience that. There's uh, a couple of times where I'll, I'll have no problem getting across with the tractor when I cut, but then one place I had drove across with the rake and got stuck, or else, or else I'd drive across trying to small square bail it and get stuck, so. Yeah, why that is, I don't know, but I, I know we didn't have uh, rainfall along the way when, while I was doing that, so. Yeah, I just, I guess somehow just water oozing out of the ground there. As far as that goes, because otherwise I'd... I should not have an experience like that <laughs> with making hay you know, where, where, I, where I have no problem cutting and I either get stuck raking or get stuck bailing and using the same tractor. So, uh, the farm where I have the corn at, I still have not been able to get over there to cut any hay either. Yeah, when I do get over there, it'll be for the first time, you know, because that area is kind of wet, and... And now, that, and now this week, the county fair is going on. So, uh, there's a couple of tractor poles over there that I'm hoping things work out to where I can run over there and take those in and get the different classes all, all recorded for you guys. And, uh, I was hoping at first to go tomorrow night for for the motorcycle races that they have over there but I probably will not get over there for that just because, I don't know, like I, say, like I said before, uh, I'd like to get the two tractor poles recorded for you guys if I can, and, and I still want to make sure that I'm able to spend the amount of time that I need to in order to get my demolition derby project done in time. Yeah, there's a neighboring county that that has their fair uh, after Carver County's does. Or after Carver County's is over, I should say, would be a better way to put that. Um, and then, and then by then, my demolition derby project deadline will have come and passed and then I believe I saw where they have a tractor pull over there and also some motorcycle and autocross racing there so then I should be able to get over there and get that recorded for you guys. Um, and because I'm, I'm not going to have any sort of demolition derby project to do. You know, next week now. So, so now it'll buy me a little more time to, you know, where I should be able to get over there and, and 
hoping I can get there and you know get the tractor pull and some of the racing recorded for you guys. I will certainly bring you as much motorsports content as I can for the month of August. Um, you know, I'm going to have to miss the fourth round of racing in Elk River as well. But I should be able to get back up there to get to record the fifth and final round of it for you guys. Just because I, I don't know of anything that would get in the way on the day when, when that last one is held. So. And that, that's more towards the end of August. So. Yeah, this field I'm standing on, I, I took two crops off, and, and this is, you know, when I cut this a second time, I was finally able to get you a, a video of, of me cutting with the disc vine, so. So that was good, and starting to look like I might... I'll, I'll probably get a third crop here yet, but but not a fourth. You know, it's, I'd, the way this looks right now, I'd I'd be surprised if you know if I'm able to take a third and uh, still have it grow, grow back enough to to produce a decent stand for a fourth crop. because I pretty much decided that I wasn't going to uh, do any more hay, do hay this week with the county fair going on. And I should bring you as much content from there as I can. Like I was talking about earlier in this video. Yeah, the spring wheat here looks like it's getting close to being ready for harvest as well. So, before long, we'll have to, we'll have to get the combine service and get that fired up and get get all this wheat harvest harvested. Um, but yeah, you can tell it's pretty yellow and you know looks a lot like it does you know when it when it does get harvested, I mean it's Yeah, it looks like it looks like it might be a little bit green in a place or two here. But yeah, it's certainly getting awfully close the way it looks. Uh, yeah, we, we don't like having all these stupid weeds out here. But uh, this one and, and one, one other one were, were also seeded in the hay at the same time. So you know, we, we couldn't we couldn't spray this this particular field if we wanted to, but. But yeah, the, the two fields that that did not get hay added to them. Uh, obviously, the the wheat was heading out about the time that the weeds started coming. Well, I, actually, all three of them. You know, 
that last one, you know, same thing happened, you know, I will be doing a video on, on that farm pretty soon too, you know, or a crop update there. Yeah, there, yeah, because, because that, that farm was seeded later than, than the, than at, than at home and, and the neighbor across the road here, uh, the, that is completely green yet, that, that wheat, and then there too, you know, the, there are heads on that weed, and then both the time that happened uh, is when the weeds started coming. So we we were afraid to put any weed killer there because I guess I never did ask my agronomist, e agronomist either if if it's safe to spray a wheat field after it's headed out. You know, cause last year we were able to spray the crop be before it headed out, so, so when we knew it was safe to do it. Uh, now I'm walking along my soybean field here. You know, the, the, when you see holes in the leaf like this it's what they call bean leaf beetle you know it's an actual bug that flies around and chews the chews the holes in the leaves like this uh, yeah I'll have to bring that to my agronomist's attention as well about the bean leaf beetles and the beans and the soybeans here and yeah, weeds started coming up again too that that the first round of spraying wasn't able to get for whatever reason. Or, or maybe just enough of a weather pattern I suppose too to to, to where that to where that stopped working what they put down. So I'll have to have them come back with either Roundup or Cobra or you know, something that we know will, you know, kill it off and then kill the, kill the weeds off, I mean, and then I'll have to have them mix some sort of insect spray in with that, you know, and then we'll, then we'll get everything cleaned up in this bean field with, with one pass. My corn I saw now was starting to tassel a little bit, so I'll maybe have to get over to that farm and do another crop update there. So yeah, otherwise, aside from the weeds and the bugs and all that, you know, the soybeans here seem to have a decent height. So that's, I think that's about all I got, I have for you guys as far as where this channel's at. Uh, you know, get the county fair behind us this week and then, and then get back to hay and hopefully go over to the farm where I haven't been to yet and see how much I can get cut there. And at least get one crop off of there. Uh, probably won't. I'd be surprised there too if there'd be enough regrowth to make it worth cut, cutting that a second time. You know, with it being so wet and still having the first crop standing out there. Not. Not the first year where I've run into that since 
since I've been farming, so. So with that, I thank you guys for watching my videos. I certainly appreciate it. Be sure to hit the like button, and if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button, and catch you guys later.